tous. Aujourd'hui, j'ai le plaisir de vous présenter Zarathustra, qui est un guérisseur qui nous vient de Los Angeles, Californie, et qui va venir au Centre Holistique le 6 juin 2019. Hi Zarathustra. Yeah, hi Vincent. Nice to see you again. How are you? I'm good. I'm uh, here in Stockholm. I'm getting ready, continuing on my tour. So I'm heading out to Poland uh, tomorrow. And I'm very excited coming to Paris. So we are. <laughs> so is it your first time you will come to France? Well, I was born in Paris. Uh, and we left when I was four or five years old, and I haven't been back since then. So I would say yes, it's my first time coming to Paris. It's amazing. And how excited are you about it? I have to say I'm really excited because I'm curious to see how I feel about coming to the city of my birth. And um, uh, all my life, uh, I've, we have talked about it. And uh, uh, I was five years old when we moved from France to Iran. And, um, and all I remember is my brother, sister speaking French. So uh, there was a lot of French being spoken in my family as I was growing up. So, um, and, uh, but I never made it back to France. So I am excited. Okay, did, did you keep some words? <laughs> Very little. Very little. I, unfortunately, um, a series of different events happened and I wasn't able to uh, continue my education in French. But I do understand a little bit. And when I'm around the language, after a few days, I start to understand things. So okay. you need to be careful when you're talking around me. <laughs> okay. Good to know. Um, Okay, never mind, we'll translate you anyway. Yeah. Um, the purpose here is to present a bit uh, what you will do. So you, the program is an introduction to quantum healing. You will do a shamanic healing circle and a training to become quantum healer. Can you explain a bit more? Uh, yeah, so that absolutely. Have a glimpse. Yeah, absolutely. I start with the first one, the first event we're going to have. It's, it's an introduction, it's a free event, and uh, the event is basically about how you raise your awareness, your consciousness, from the third dimensional uh, frequency, raising it to a higher frequency, which is the fifth dimensional vibrational frequency, and operating from that level in a normal world. Because, as you know, a lot of spiritual people, when they uh, are working on themselves, um, they go too really far, far high up. And they're having a hard time operating in the normal world, that we call it normal. And uh, so the first introduction that I have is about how you can uh, elevate your consciousness to the 5D, to fifth dimensional uh, consciousness, but in the same time, being able to operate in normal life, you know, like to pay your bills and to uh, take your kids to school and, and taking care of business, daily business, you know. Take okay. He, he talks to me. Uh, and can you tell us a bit more what is this five dimension? Yeah. Fifth dimension, uh, it's a unified field of oneness. It's a unified field of love without the illusion or the notion of any kind of separation. And for example, I give you a more abstract, abstract uh, example. Imagine that there is only the ocean and there is no beaches, there is no mountains, there is nothing else except only the ocean. So now there is, there is only one, there is nothing else to compare the ocean to. All, you, all there is is water. So fifth dimension is one unified field of pure love, pure oneness. So there is no separation in it. It's only oneness. Okay, I get it. And um, will it be enough for people? Just 
in one event or during this training session to to feel it, to be able to contact it? Or... Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. From the beginning, even from the introduction event, we begin to uh, touch it and feel it because I do create the atmosphere and raise, raise the vibrations to a higher frequency. So the audience definitely get in touch with it. And then we're having the second event, which is the shamanic healing circle. And, uh, and we go deeper into it because I have more time with people. And we're also going to do some active meditations that allows everybody to raise their vibrations to a higher frequency and touch the field. So that the shamanic uh, event is as well um, linked to the fifth dimension. Yes, it is a fifth dimensional quantum healing event. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Every so just for the, um, the people listening, it will be the 6th of June, the free event, and the shamanic event will be the 7th of June in the evening. And then there will be this training for the quantum healers on the 8th and 9th of June. Right. Yeah. And the, uh, what we're going to do is I'm teaching the first level of fifth dimensional quantum healing and awareness. And uh, it's a five level healing training program. It's the most comprehensive and complete healing training program on the planet because it's got everything covered. So in level one, what we're going to learn is we're going to learn how to feel, touch, and restore the auric field, the aura of the person. Because what I've experienced is most of the time, health issues, emotional issues, psychological disorders are all happening in the auric field. So if you can put the aura back together and restore it, most of the time the problem disappears sometimes immediately it goes away sometimes it takes time because the person is not able to keep their auric field together so you have to work on them again but i will be teaching each and every participants how they can feel the aura and fix the aura in the first few hours of the training program so the, the first goal is to do self-healing Oh, it is to be uh, done to other people. Well, we start with ourselves and then I teach them how you do it to other people. So, uh, because we're going to be practicing with each other. So, and they will learn that. And uh, after learning how to do this uh, with ourselves and other people, then we're going to learn how with your hands, it's going to be hands-on healing. When you put your hand on someone, how you can receive information from their body. And we've done this before in our lives, in our childhood. A lot of the things I teach, we've already have done it, but we don't know we're doing it. So when I put it in this content, the person will remember a lot of their ancient knowledge, all the wisdom that they had from, from the ancient times, which is ingrained in our psyche, they will start to remember that they've done this before. Okay, and w which public can come? And for the free event, shamanic, or for the training, do, do they have to be healers already to, be, um, to have done a, a certain um, development? already in no. the speaking field? No. It, it doesn't really matter because uh, I've had work with people who've never done anything like this and people who are doing it professionally and uh, I've had very, very great success with all of them because, because the way the program is designed is once somebody comes to me and they're available, they're open, they don't have to be a believer. They don't have to believe in it. But they say, you know what? I'm, I'm open to this, Zarathustra. Teach me, right? So if you're open to it, 
then you're open into the practices and exercises. And as soon as I start doing the work, your vibration starts to rise. You come to a higher frequency. As you come to the higher frequency, you're st you can start feeling the energy in your hands. The healing energy starts to flow in you. So, okay. And uh, then after the, um, the session, they, they, they would be able to, to heal some other people? Do they become healer or do they need to go further? To, to be able to practice uh, well every everything in life is practice you know so um i while i teach the fundamentals of this work uh of course they can do healing work after i teach them this but if to develop anything you have to practice i mean you may come to my healing training program one time and then you never practice it eventually you're gonna lose your skills or you forget what you learn. So practice is very important if you want to get results. Okay, and they can, for instance, if it's a, someone that is already a healer or if someone that wants to start and change the job, he wants to start to be a healer, can he, he become one after the session or, or does he need some other training, some further training well, because this is level one uh, yeah, this at the is moment. Le this is level one. So the, everything is developing, you know, you, you develop your skills. So to develop your skills, you have to practice and practice makes things perfect. Not everybody come to my training program wants to be a healer. Some people come because they really enjoy the energy and, and they want to get healed or they just want to add something to their skills. And they learn this, but not necessarily they will practice it in the future, which is fine. Because once you learn this, this teaching is going to be yours for life. You can always use it and okay. benefit from it, yeah. And it can, it can be, but it can be a, f a full uh, healing session with, with your teaching. It, is it um, a protocol that you can apply to, to heal someone? Yes, absolutely, of course. Even in the first level, you can do that. Everybody can do it. In the first, after completing the first level, which is on a weekend. Is it a minimum age to, to come to your uh, lessons? I don't require minimum age. What I require is being attentive. So let's say we're having a 13-year-old coming to our event. As long as they're attentive, they can learn this from childhood. They can learn it from age seven or eight. If they're attentive, if they're present there. And actually, children learn this a lot faster than uh, adults because they're they're more in touch with the world of energy they're moving more <laughs> yeah they're they're not conditioned yet you know because as we get older we get conditioned to our ways and children are not conditioned and they're more in touch with the world of spirit so it's much easier to teach them things if you can keep their attention on it I see. And just by curiosity, how did you learn this yourself? Well, I had it from childhood, from age six or seven. Uh, if you came to me and we're talking and you said your knee hurts, I automatically wanted to put my hand on your knee. So, but you're... There is no encouragement. No one's encouraging you to do this work. And the surrounding world is telling you, why are you doing this? This is crazy. Or your own mind comes and says that you're not a doctor and you shouldn't be doing what you're doing. So you unconsciously start to blocking it off. So I had it from childhood. And as I went into my adulthood, there were glimpses of it. It would come and go. 
the healing energy, but it wasn't there all, all the time. I didn't have access to it all the time. But then in 2009, I had a series of events happen to me, very powerful events, that it got me completely activated. And uh, I had encounters with beings, entities, announcing themselves to me that they're my fifth dimensional guides. And they started to download information in me. As this download started to happen, my right hand turned into a high frequency transmitter. So I was able to send information and receive information with my hand. So as I go more forward and then I put my finger on people's third eyes, then I realize that their pineal gland, their third eye starts to get activated and people start having all kinds of spiritual experiences from me putting their, my finger on their third eye. Or if I put my hand on somebody, mm -hmm. there is an anest anesthetic uh, quality to it, that their pain goes away by just putting my hand on them. So um, I realized that this, I, I didn't have a choice. I had to put my hands on people because of all these uh, uh, activities that were happening. Did you do something so that it happened or it just happened? It just happened. It happened in a period of uh, nine weeks. That's how it happened. And uh, there, there were a, lot of, a series of different things building up to this point. You know, it wasn't like from one day nothing to another day, all of this happens. There were a series of different events happening and building it up. But when the entities did come, that period was in nine weeks. And then they took over and they started downloading information. Okay, and how did you receive it? Well, what happened was they took over my mind and I, I the only thing I know that for three weeks, I was lying down on my bed in my loft in Venice Beach. I don't know how I ate. I don't know how I went and washed myself. I don't remember anything. I don't remember the information was coming. All I do remember that something took over my body and my mind. And I do know that there was information being downloaded to me. It was downloads of information. And when the three weeks ended, I had healing abilities and I could, I could do these things. But you felt you were still yourself or you felt different? After, after three weeks when they left me, yes, I felt I was myself. And then they came back three weeks after and they took over again. And the second time, what they told me at the end, they said, we activated and open your third eye. So what happened after that, I could see the aura on people. Mm. I developed very powerful telepathic communication. Um, I started to hear, I could hear things. And um, I started to have contacts with different beings around the universe and getting information from them. And uh, also I developed like a laser vision. Like a lot of times if I'm working with somebody, I can look inside their body or around the aura and I can find out what's wrong with them. Not, uh, it's a different kind of a vision. It's not like you see things with your eyes. It's like you can sense information something's wrong and I find something. I don't have exact information like what is your blood type or what kind of virus is in your body, but I can find, I get information that something's wrong with somewhere in the body and I, I, I start to get the senses of it. Okay, it's, it's very, it, was it disturbing for you or it's something you? Good question. It was very disturbing in the beginning, yes. 
because what happened was after my third eye opened up, I could hear other people's thoughts. And that was very disturbing. And I thought I'm going to go crazy because your own mind, it's a handful, you know, when your mind gets very busy and it's driving you crazy, it's too much. Imagine you can hear other people's thoughts. So I thought I'm going to go crazy. And, and I, I had, I had how to you manage it. I had to shut it down. Okay. I had to shut it down. You found the way. I found a way to shut it down, yes. And to reopen it up. Well, it's, it's, I was able to shut down that aspect of hearing other people's thoughts. Um, look, when things come to this world of energy and spirit, it's not black and white. There's a lot of gray areas in between. So it's not the way people think that there's a switch, you can turn it on and off. Mm -hmm. So things are not the way I explain them. You know, you can explain it all day long, but it's not exactly the way it's being explained. And I have the question though, when someone is coming to your session and you said you opened the third eye, is it um, a short time experience? Is it dangerous? for them I'm no not. it's not dangerous but the effects could be permanent or they could be temporarily it depends on the person everybody reacts to it differently and it's the same thing with the healing work sometimes i've experienced instant healing right away some problem is gone sometimes the problem goes away and comes back after a week but you have no issue with, with people uh, because you're working too good and you open the third eye and the people don't know what to do with it then. No, of course, I train them. Again, when you open someone's third eye, again, it's not like you're all of a sudden, again, it's not black and white. Okay. You know, it's that a lot of people start to experience that their psychic abilities um, artistic abilities begin to develop. All of a sudden, they can do things they weren't able to do before. Okay? So it's not like you open someone's third eye and all of a sudden they are having an outer body experience and they don't know how to come back in their body. It's very subtle. It could be drastic, but 99% of the time, it's very subtle. You just begin to experience, you know things, you sense things better. You all of a sudden maybe uh, learn how to sing, how to write. All of a sudden you may be, become a very good chef and cook food you couldn't cook before, all of a sudden, you start finding that you can do things you couldn't do before, or you know things you didn't know before. So it could be very subtle. Okay, it's, it sounds positive indeed, all the yeah. effects. It's not, it's not like all of a sudden from zero, you are out of your body and flying into the air and you can't come back, no. Okay. I think it's, it was quite useful to understand a bit more what you do. Do you think we have presented the, the main points or do you have something to add? Yeah, I think, you know, regarding the healing training program, which is very important, is that in this healing training program that we're doing, the two days, is besides learning how to feel, touch, restore the auric field, we're going to learn how to do hands-on healing and how to do our, use our hands to get information and find blockages in someone's body with your hand. Because your hand is a radar. And we've been using our hands as a radar all our lives. You know, when you touch somebody, you say, hi, how are you? You touch them. It's already information being exchanged between you and another person. 
There's a lot of information exchanges between human beings and they're not aware that they're doing it. So what I do is I enhance these abilities. We, we already naturally have them. And then I teach how you can pull out problems, health issues, blockages out of somebody's body, how to clean the body from stuff. Some people call it bad energy. You know, can you get rid of my bad energy? But there is nothing such as bad energy. It's information. Information that you don't need anymore. It's outdated and it needs to come out of your body. So we're going to learn how to do that and how to restore and manipulate the physical body and the auric field so the body readjusts itself and comes back to the good health and the emotion, emotional issues start to disappear. Because what we do is we're raising our vibrations to a higher frequency. In this level, you have certain issues. But when you raise your vibrations to a higher frequency, you don't have that problems that you have here. So that's why it's called fifth dimensional quantum healing. It's a quantum leap to a higher dimension. And the healing training program is not only about how to become a healer. A large, a, a large part of the healing training pro program is about how to stay still, how to, be, how to be really still in life and not be an emotional yo-yo and learn how to operate from love. If you're going to do healing work, healing work is not technique. Healing happens through love. And if I'm not in this place of loving myself and I cannot give love, then healing won't happen because it's not a mechanical thing. Healing happens through love. And you have to learn how to love yourself because you, before you can transfer it to other people. So a part of this program is also to come to your own center and to love yourself. And through loving yourself, you heal yourself and you heal your relationships. So it's very comprehensive healing training program. Yeah, I see it's very complete indeed. Yeah. Uh, and, and how uh, is it, do you give, um... Um, advice to keep this did you did you uh, did you see that people were able to maintain this with absolutely. time this, this state yeah absolutely uh, absolutely or trapped tra 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 back by the life absolutely okay. well that's a part of the training program is to teach people how to stay in a higher frequency so I will give them certain instructions with practical meditations that people can do on a daily basis to keep their vibrations in a higher frequency. So we learn that. And okay. once we start learning that, then I, the part of the, this level one is also we're going to learn about the introduction to shaman, shamanic healing. So we're going to learn a bit of shamanism too in this healing training program. So you can do all that in two days. Well, we're learning it, but once we learn, then we have to practice on our own, you know? And oh, then, well. yeah, so, so everything is, it's like anything. You go play football, you're teaching football to your children. They have to practice every day to develop their skills, like anything in life. You know? I see. Yeah. Um, I thank you for this presentation. For me, it, it was very complete. Um, did we did we tell everything, or do you do you have something else to to add? Yeah, I'm, uh, really. I I think you were gonna. You mentioned something that you feel like offering something to the community. You mentioned something you wanted to give. Uh, the um, uh, uh, do you have an offering for a community? Did you say something? I'm, maybe I'm mistaking or not. Uh, you mean the, for, the, for the events, the, the price you said? Yeah. 
Yeah, because it is your indeed your first time uh, in France, and that well, you, you are known in US, you are known in some other European countries like the Nordic countries, uh, Germany, and Poland. But as it's the first time in France, uh, we we offer um, a two for one price. It means one one is paying, and it can come free with a friend for yeah. the shamanic healing circle and for the training program. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. That's a wonderful idea you have uh, because uh, I'm excited to to meet my new uh, French brother sisters, and uh, it would be a nice way of coming to France and Paris and also offering something in return to all the love and kindness I'm receiving. So I think that's an excellent idea that we are offering two for one at both the healing, uh, shamanic healing circle as well as the healing training program. Okay, it's noted. Um, maybe now we just turn a bit, uh, I will thank you for that. I will just translate a bit in French for the one that don't speak English. Yes, absolutely. Donc, euh, j'espère que vous avez apprécié cette euh, interview de Zaratustra. Donc, je vous rappelle qu'il vient au Centre Holistique du Marais du 6 juin au 9 juin 2019. Donc, le 6 juin à 19h au soir, il y aura un événement gratuit où il présente ses soins. Donc, ça sera en anglais, mais traduit en français. Ensuite, le 7 au soir à 19h30, il y aura le Cercle de guérison chamanique. Donc, c'est un événement qui dure deux heures. Et du, le week-end du 8 au 9 juin, il y aura la formation aux guérisseurs quantiques de cinquième dimension, niveau 1. Euh, vous pouvez trouver toutes ces, toutes ces informations sur le site du Centre Holistique euh, du Marais. Vous avez les liens aussi vers, vers le site de Zaratustra. Et voilà, j'espère que cette vidéo vous a aidé à en savoir plus. Et euh, nous avons hâte de, de vous rencontrer en même temps que Zaratustra. À bientôt. Okay. Bye Zaratustra. Thank you. Nice seeing you again. I appreciate inviting me.